how's how's the story in Elden Ring? Is it a little bit more more explicit than uh, the rest of the series? I know I know Sekiro is probably like the most straightforward, except with like maybe some of the lore stuff. For, from what I've gathered from it, it's uh, so you're in this land, you're tarnished, uh, you got zero bitches, you got zero maidens, and you don't know what's going on because Vati Video hasn't made a YouTube video, and that's that's the story of Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah, like, I would put it somewhere between Sekiro and Dark Souls. Like, it's a little more explicit than what happens in Dark Souls, but it's still very vague, and, like, I kind of know what I'm doing, and I have I completed a, a, a completely optional side quest with a, with a major character, and I vaguely am aware of what I accomplished, but... I'm not actually sure, you know, it, it's, it's still very much from soft storytelling and yeah, I'm, there's some, been some, some cooler cutscenes. So like they went out of their way to make things more interesting. There's a lot of it still kind of like in item descriptions and like piecing together, like, uh, like other little pieces of information together. There is a little bit of that. There, there's a lot more like explicit. I can sit down and talk to people and like listen to lore. Uh, in the in this one, like there's a there's a turtle pope, and you can just like talk to him, and he like just sits you down and says like, "All right, this is what happened, and I'm explaining this faction to you now." Um, did you say turtle pope? I did there say is turtle, a turtle pope. pope. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good. Um, yeah, so like you can get information from people. Like there is options to talk to when, once you you get a maiden. Once you're no longer a virgin, there are times when you can like sit around a campfire and talk to your maiden, and like she'll give you some info. You know, they get chatty after you do your thing with them. Sorry, is that wrong for me to say? I don't. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> The, uh, the thing that so for me it, it it's my first from game, so I can't compare it to previous games. And the thing that frustrated me is that, and I say this is someone who like I this is arguably one of my favorite games of all time. Like I I cannot put it down, and I can't remember the last time a game has made me feel this way. But it is frustrating when there's a lot of time spent figuring out. I don't even know who I could go to to find out more. And so I've I've been lucky enough to find different guides for different quest lines that that have given me more context. But in terms of just trying to find them in the game, it's so the the idea of explore and find stuff out can be detrimental at times. And I understand purists are going to get angry and say, but that's how it's meant to be. And uh, that's the, the intended experience. And it's like, OK. But I also think a little bit of it is just some lazy writing. I mean, I know the, the, the memes about George R. R. Martin being involved in helping create the world. And also he's notorious for like not finishing uh, stories. And so there's a lot of this that's kind of left open-ended. Like the main story itself, you can get the gist of it. And by the time you finish it, you're like, yeah, I, I understood what's going on. And then think... oh, but to get any of the side stuff, there's like no... like it's hard to it's hard to feel like the side characters play a super big role unless you go out of your way to like find these super obscure like one of the quest lines is in one of the one of the dungeon legacy dungeons that you go through and like you can find a guy but in order to find him you have to take these like super random obscure hidden paths and it's like okay it's cool to do that exploring but like that was a that felt like a pretty pretty important story there and most people are never going to experience it because Who's gonna find that? And so, like, if you put all that effort to put that stuff in your game, make it so people can find. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just frustrating. I, I, a, I, I want to do more of the side stuff, and I never want to do side stuff. I, I think when it comes to Souls games, I have typical Kyle brain in which I don't give a fuck about the story of any of the Souls games. I've played all of them. I've beaten all of them. I just don't give a flying fuck about the story. Like, it's all entirely. Uh, let me fight enemies and bosses that are gonna like butt fuck me. That, that's what I'm into. I um, so so like Elden Ring does a better job, I think, 
of giving you hints as to what to do like in there are certain merchants that you can just like buy uh random notes from and there'll be like hints of things in the world and normally in other souls games how you find out those hints is you go to the souls wiki and someone else has already explained to you how to open this hidden door or whatever so like in game they have added more things to make it a little less obscure and weird and like i've found figured out stuff on my own a lot in in elden ring uh I've also had to look stuff up specifically with a lot of like NPC quests, like the, the side stories and like actual story ish related content is still very obscure. And a lot of times you just feel like you got lucky if you managed to progress it far enough. Like I had one guy, I found him in a dungeon and then he came, he showed up at the hub world and I talked to him and i thought he was going to have a bigger quest and now every time i talk to him he's basically dead and he's probably going to be dead very shortly because this is a, a souls game um and i have no idea if i missed something if there was more to do with his quest if i just advanced things too far and like missed an opportunity and like those sorts of things never you know are explained and they don't get any better in this game um that's that's a little disappointing to you yeah uh kyle you specifically this is your first um souls game you've gotten into was there anything in particular that kind of like gave you the push to want to jump in and did kind of like the reputation for these games i mean like really hard did that kind of like hamper your excitement or you're just like fuck i don't want to do this and then you just kind of caved in Oh, the the reputation for Souls games is 100% why I've never played one. I don't I don't want to be good at video games, and so a game that requires you to be good was super not appealing to me. But after it had come out, that first the first like two days it was out, I had people I knew who had either reviewed it or were playing it when it had come out that were saying it was the most welcoming to newer players because if if you're running if you're bashing your head into something and not able to get through it, you can leave you know, explore other stuff and level up and then come back later. It, you don't have to always get stuck on the same uh, to progress the main story you have to get through certain things but there's so much to do otherwise that feels rewarding and you can start small with smaller dungeon bosses and feel better about yourself for getting those clears and then you can finally make your way to the, to the bigger stuff. so that's how it's been for me it was a it was definitely a steep learning curve but it did feel like okay i can i can go away and play something else and I will say, I've heard for years that, oh yeah, it's really hard, but the, the reward for when you kill the boss, you know, after struggling for hours, it feels so good. And I was like, shut the fuck up. I was like, that's that's garbage. You're just trying to make yourself feel better about spending all that time on a boss. And then I spent 16 hours trying to get through one boss and finally got through them. And uh, the feeling was orgasmic. So turns out people weren't <laughs> lying. It does feel really fucking good to to learn how to beat these things and figure when you finally get it, like once it clicks how the different boss operates or how these things work, it's just like, oh my God, that was, first of all, that was brilliant in the way they created it. And also like, I'm a genius for figuring it out. And then well, something happens and you get screwed, then you get screwed over by some stupid last minute, uh, you were standing one frame too close and you get screwed over and die and i had that happen a couple of times and it was it was infuriating and then i was like well back at it again we were, we were talking about this prior but for someone who uh was hesitant to jump in uh you're on, you said you're on what your second new game plus right now i i am and i am i'm going to be 100 percenting the game this week oh shit. which i i do not I haven't even finished it. How are you? I do not. He has I Kyle not, I do. Yeah, it's, it, you know how normally when I'm playing games and my attention becomes just, I'm, I'm committed to mainlining it. This one, I'm just committed to beating it. I'm just like, I will literally, there were nights the first, the first weekend I was playing. Um, I, this is the last weekend. I, it was seriously so bad 
that I would go to sleep. I would play until about 11 or 12 at night. I would go to sleep and wake up 30 minutes later because I was thinking about whatever boss I was on so much that I just, I was like, I have to, I have to keep trying. And then another four or five hours would go by. So I would probably play anywhere from 16 to 20 hours a day. It was, it was, it was very unhealthy. I, I, I see. I, I am just, I, I just want to be, to see what, to, to, why I am so flabbergasted right now is that, like, he was like, he, he sent me a message on Discord. He was like, hey, do you want to help me fight this boss? And it's like one of, like, the first bosses of the game. And, like, I came in to help him. And long story short, I died immediately. So I wasn't very much help. <laughs> but, like, and then we had some, like, internet issues and like we couldn't get it to work again and so like i'm like all right well you're stuck at this first boss but i'll definitely come back and help you at some point and then like two days later he posts a screenshot on twitter and says i've beaten the game and i'm like what the fuck you were just like, <laughs> an early boss like i was trying to help you with that and now you've beaten it like you you lapped me like five times how did you do that <laughs> well and and on my first playthrough i did a lot of sides to my second playthrough i i literally just there's like 11 bosses that you have to fight and I just went through those those ones. I did nothing else extra, only because I was trying to get one of the like shitty endings mm -hmm. that you have to get for a trophy. And a lot of like the 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 last one I'm doing now on this last new game plus, and it's also where I'm going to complete everything else. The quest line you have to do to unlock its ending is like a it's a really it's a really long one. So I have um, I've decided this could be the one where. You know, I'm not, I'm not rushing through it. I'm finishing up. I'm not going back into old dungeons I've already done if I don't need to. So there's some things that I'm skipping, but there's there's a lot of areas that I just never finished. And so now I'm just working on finishing up the last, I think there's like five or six optional bosses that I haven't fought yet um, or haven't beaten yet. I've actually been to almost all of them, but hadn't finished them. So I am making my way through them. And then once I get through them, I will be done with, uh, done with, don't 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 the game and i'll have that platinum trophy and i'll feel good about myself i have a plan and my plan is to be done in three days i have a set list of things i'm going to do every day i i, I think I'm that you days. are like the perfect case study for someone being so hesitant to jump into and just like if you sit there and like kind of just learn how things like on the spectrum of like game difficulty like Souls games are on the harder end. I don't, I don't see why people say it's it's not hard. Like on, on the spectrum of stuff, it, it's on the harder end. Dark Souls two but, and three and parts of Elden Ring so far have been hard. Oh, and Bloodborne is hard, but Dark Souls one isn't hard. At least to me, at least in my opinion. I I would just say that there's kind of like a steep learning curve for the most part. Yeah, that I agree. The whole point of yeah. Um, uh, of at least to me, it seems like the whole point of Demon Souls and Dark Souls one is for you to learn how to play the game. Um, and then once once it became the series that's hard, they kind of threw that out the window. <laughs> For uh, listeners, uh, Mace has, has uh, suddenly appeared. With, yeah, sorry with, about that. With, it's all good. I think you have like some slight echo though. Oh, mark my headphones. It's all good. There we go. But no, uh, so, so I I will say with a lot of that too with you know getting the difficulty and obviously there's a lot of discourse about that and I was talking with someone about it the other day. Do we want to get into it? Do we want to deep well, dive into I, that? No, we won't deep dive into it because because end of time. But just just making a, a mild statement on it, people aren't asking for the game to be made easier. Like it's not even the majority of of especially just different accessibility and and specifically disability advocates that have seen aren't saying, oh, give the game an easy mode that fixes the problem. Like the issue isn't. And then people will retort, well, you know, this so-and-so is has a disability and they beat it, you know, just get good. And it's like, okay, shut the fuck up. But the issue is just that there are people who are physically in, like, there are things about it and mechanically things that you have to be able to do that can be challenging with, with, with a lot of different disabilities. And so making the game easier doesn't fix it. It's just giving more options for people who are limited. You can do that and still allow for that learning curve and learning because that is the appeal of the game is being able to learn these things that are challenging so the 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 debate isn't should there be an easy mode or not or at least it shouldn't be should there be an easy mode or not the debate shouldn't exist the debate or the the situation should just be find ways to implement accessibility features that make it so more people can play the game and still experience a challenge 
I yeah, the game would not be nearly as fun as easy mode. Now, also, there's obviously the point of like, it, in easy mode existing doesn't stop you from playing on the harder difficulty. But I do think it's it is harder to to add to having to have to design the entire game for different levels of difficulty. It it can mess some things up design wise that you then have to go in and, and, and adjust. So I can understand not doing that. But there are ways to just make it so it's more accessible for people to play. And I think mm -hmm. that's in gaming in general, that should be a no brainer is whatever we can do to make it so more people can play. It doesn't mean changing the game. It just means adding more options. And then there's no, there shouldn't be an issue with that. But you know, I, that's a whole, it's, it's the internet. So of course there's an issue, but yeah, you know, it's, I, it's Twitter. I think I, the, I the, of course, but, the smartest. I was just going to say that to build off that real quick, it's uh, like, yeah, there, there's a long laundry list of accessibility features that can be put in, whether it's for people that are like deaf, hard of hearing, if they have visual impairments, if they're physically or, mo or mobility impaired. Uh, something as, as simple as like proper subtitles or uh, being able to remap buttons. Um, that shit goes a long way. Um, and it's just as far as the, like the easy mode, it's just like, yeah, no, this, this game's meant to be played like on that difficulty like if there was an easy mode i don't give a fuck if anyone wants to play on it if, if they ask my opinion on it i'd be like i don't know i feel like you're missing the point if you're doing that if, if you if you if you fundamentally don't want to engage with a thing that makes a souls game a souls game then i don't, I don't know what to tell you you do you i guess I, mean, I there have been like souls likes that have had difficulties like jedi fallen order has mm -hmm. a difficulty level uh, Stranger of Paradise is going to have a difficulty level. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think Neo had difficulty levels. I don't I, think so. I don't think they do. So like, and it's it, so it's all over the place. And like, I me personally, I don't think adding an easy difficulty or changing the difficulty is going to change the game at all because you can hear from people who are playing on this difficulty that like some bosses like are fucking like in, in Elden Ring specifically there are some late game bosses that are apparently like one shotting people despite the fact that they have like really mm -hmm. high health stats yeah. and like changing putting in a difficulty option that like changes how hard they hit or um you know gives you a little more life or whatever is going to change that from being one shot to being two shot probably and their patterns are still going to be the same and like for me like i think if a difficulty mode was added i don't think it would be that big a deal <laughs> honestly um, like i think people could who play these games for the difficulty would still get the same experience no. Um, now, I think now try that, saying that shit on Twitter, uh, my, the people are gonna want to throw hands. I think I think the best way to handle this for uh, for an easy mode in Dark Souls wouldn't be like you know uh, you uh, you hit harder and they hit less, or you have more health and they have less health. Be more like the DMC way of of um, of rebalancing everything, making rooms easier by having less of certain types of enemies, and making their attack patterns different depending on the difficulty. But that also takes forever to do. Yeah. So, it's uh, in order for it to remain like the, the 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 feeling that they want to remain, they would have to do that, and that also means probably doubling the budget and the dev time. Yeah, and that that's where it leads to a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. Where, like I said, it, it becomes challenging to do. But if you do things, Gama said, like just make it so you're not getting. Because what's the what's the challenge of getting one shot by a boss? What are you gonna learn? From, especially because I've had opportunities or situations where it's happened and it's been like unavoidable yeah. like i just i got caught up in something and i was i was i thought i was outside of the range but i was like a frame off and it, and it's like you get some weird fucky situations where it gets buggy and you end up dying and it's like i didn't learn anything from that i just got mad because i did the right thing it mm -hmm. was just the slightest bit off it's like make these things just a little bit more forgiving and then and then it's gonna get you know, people still have to learn the attack patterns. You still have to figure out, but because otherwise, the alternative is what people are doing now, where they're finding ways to farm runes and just level up like crazy. Not that I've done that, because of course, because I mean, <laughs> yeah. you're a that. fucking real gamer over here. Uh, I did that. Um, but or or people are finding like like uh, overpowered spells that they can cast and and do a lot of damage. You know, again, not like I would. I, I certainly haven't done that a lot. Um, you know, but like we're gonna find other ways, and I'd honestly kind of rather just learn the the patterns. But it's like if I'm gonna get fucked no matter what, I can I can know all the patterns in the world, but if they're gonna one shot me, 
in an unavoidable attack well then it's like well then what what i don't you, you would love don't have any, if, seven's final boss if they're gonna you cheese would have me, so much gonna, fucking fun if they're gonna cheese me then i'm gonna fucking cheese them yes fuck that's it. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. I, I, my, these my the best build, part of these types of games. Yeah, my build is currently giant fucking laser beam. Like that's how I kill things now. I also think my frustration with a lot of the the stuff around the just the discourse in general is like, like because I said it's it's like I'm gonna quote the, tweet the you call you a fucking piece of shit, Kyle. Well, <laughs> uh, the <laughs> challenge, idiot. the challenge is the bulk of the 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 intention or the appeal like that that is something that and having hard games is is can be really good and i love that they've done it and they do it really well the problem is just that like you were you were joking that but there's a lot of people that are just really toxic with the way that they say oh this mm -hmm. is the way it's it's this is this is the most authentic experience or the most rewarding experience and in general that is probably true but if somebody wants to play the game on an easier mode and also completes it their sense of accomplishment is going to feel no different than mine but there are going to be people who go oh well screw you you didn't actually beat the game because you played on easy ha 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 you you're garbage you know look at me i'm a real gamer like first of all if the difficulty of video games that you're playing is what gives you joy in life you have deeper problems maybe see a therapist but this idea that like uh, like people playing it in a different way because if because for for some for you know and i use you as the example jose just because you said that you you brought this up but like for you playing it on, on the intended difficulty or like the the, hard, the really hard difficulty like that's what is fulfilling to you and that's like that is that is awesome because you have an experience that is incredibly fulfilling if someone else gets that same feeling playing it differently why does it matter you know and i know to you it doesn't mm. And, and and so I don't I don't mean that directed to you, but there are just so many people where it does matter to them. And I, I think like, it's just some people take it really like, seriously. It's it's not like no. it's it's never like a passing comment to people on Twitter. It's just like they fucking live and breathe yeah, this it's, shit. It's it's their whole it's their yeah. whole identity. It's like bro, like yeah. go outside, go touch some grace. Yeah, I see, I see, I see what you did there. But yeah, there's no fucking there's no subtlety to Twitter. It's like it's gotten to the point i just don't want anything to do with like either side of the fucking mm -hmm. argument i'm just like all this Absolutely. fucking annoying i know it's like i know what i think whatever you just move on with it i i don't even give it like like two seconds of, of my thought process on a day and, and some people live and breathe and fight that shit twitter 24 fucking 7. It's... and there are there there are other like, like it was mentioned here there are other souls like games that have difficulty and those games are great you know, Jedi Fallen Order was given as, as an example. Like, Fallen Order is an incredible game. I played it on an easier difficulty because I wanted to experience the story and I didn't want to have to dedicate all of my time to figuring out all the different fights. I still had a great experience with the game. I still felt like that game was incredible. I don't think that I didn't play the game. You may also, be in the they... game, but we don't grant you the rank of master, Kyle. Also, also, um, uh, that game also told you exactly what they changed between difficulties. Yeah. Which I really like. They tell you, like, oh, okay, your health is lower, and we changed the period time for the harder difficulty, and uh, that's fantastic. More things should definitely do that. I think that's about going to do it for this show, unless anyone has any closing comments or whatever. Um, sorry I'm late. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? <laughs> you and George R. You know what? At least you came. Mm -hmm. uh, George R. R. Yeah. Martin still has to finish stuff. That's true. That's true. I'm best at finishing, honestly. Do you think his wife has ever orgasmed? Um, we know he hasn't, though. That's the most important yeah. thing. There you go. <laughs> that dude's got you can't, a blue. You balls. can't make a fantasy. You can't make a fantasy world if you've orgasmed once. That's just the truth. <laughs> That's why that's my why Aragon, was never going anywhere, huh? That's why Aragon had to be made when he was 16. <laughs> Alright? Because <laughs> he hasn't had a chance yet. Let's see. Um, let's see, any, any other closing comments from, from um, the panel? I don't know if he talked about Pokemon. No, uh, I, I think we'll have to good. that next time. Very good. That's all I'm saying. Alright. That's we're, it. We're, I finished talking. Atma, uh, got anything? Triangle strategy is good. That's all I got. It's like one of my fucking favorite geometrical shapes out there. I just want to let you know. Well, that. We'll, we'll, talk about that we'll talk about that next I thought, episode, too. I thought Hexagon was the best of Okay, Hexagon.
Whoa! I went there. Hex gods. Small words. We need, we need to round up, round up all the hexagons. Fucking put them in a, in like some kind of camp for interns, some kind of like internment camp. Fucking gas them up. I don't know, man. Gas them up. I them with Fuck that delousing agent. <laughs> I know. I gotta stop. I. I gotta stop, man. It's, it's fucked up. Uh, it's all good. It's fun. Um, uh, one one last uh, thing. Uh, we're, we're gonna have the little hot take, um, hot take hour at the end of the show. So we're gonna spin okay. a wheel. Whoever gets it, um, they, they get to have a hot take and no one gets to contest it. No one gets to say shit. So, okay. um, I mean, I, I guess I could share my screen, but that might fuck up the discord thing. Well, let me, let me see. Sorry, we, we, see. we, oh, he's gone. That did, that did fuck up he's the discord dead, thing. Cause I fucking left. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that sucks. You. you betrayed us. I I did betray us. Uh, share my screen. Uh, your screen is that, is that come? Yeah, that does fuck things up. It's a yeah. It's a, I I don't want, I don't feel like fixing it at the moment. So, um, right. you're you're just gonna have to live with it, Atma. You're, you're kind of cropped out at the moment. Oh no! You still have like a good forty percent of your camera <laughs> view. Click on that life insurance ad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see who gets it mesa you got a hot take uh of course it's me uh what's my hot take um um i guess my hot take right now is that eldering is okay it's pretty good it's whatever <laughs> that's my hot take that's your hot take come on get all yeah, right you sound a little spicy pretty good that's all right that's that's spicier, really what do you think I've already talked about how the early 360 PS3 generation almost killed video games. Um, let me think. Um, you got this, bud. I got, I got it, man. I got it. Um, Channel your inner Twitter demon. You got something. None of the Tomb Raider games are really that good. The new ones, of course. They're not that good. They're like, they're always like six out of tens, all of them, and I've played all of them for no reason. I'm not going to contest that because that would be against the rules. <laughs> All I'm saying is I revisited those games and my opinion has changed. Okay. Shit. Okay. We, we can't contest it. Mesa's base mm -hmm. is, uh, is factually correct. All right. That's that's the show. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, start of season two. It was, it was a fun ride. Mm -hmm. uh, smacking babies, swinging by and building. The next toys. generation. Yeah. The next. Uh, two gamers, two, two sessionists. Uh, game session two, uh, son of son of game session. Game session um, harder. Uh, we're I'm missing <laughs> the obvious game session two electric boogaloo. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. Game session strikes back. You know, I, I was um, gonna do the pun of uh I mm -hmm. guess it's not really a pun. I was I was just gonna rebrand the show to Game, game Session. Game Session v Infinity War. I mean there's that. I, I but I was gonna go with Game Session V3, but only fucking losers like like me would understand the reference. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that for Rapa? season. Is that Dong and Rapa? I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably wind up doing that for season three. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll steal it for that. You know, game I'll, sessions I'll, with attitude. I'll do game session season three, and then game session uh, V three. Two completely different things, and then hey. we'll just Bad. going on going on brand with what we talked about today. It should be game session two, the arcade game. Oh, there you go, arcade edition, mm. the Cowabunga edition. I'll, I'll, uh, super game session two turbo. There you go. There we go. Uh, like hyper, that. hyper edition. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's the show. Thanks. Bye bye. I'll edit this tomorrow when I'm Woo. don't have to deal with daylight savings in like oh, six fuck. hours. Don't remind no, me I about was, daylight savings. I was so I, uh, mad when I found out that was. Tomorrow. I, 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 know, I, right? I usually get up at midnight for work. Now it's gonna be fucking one a.m. It's gonna suck ass. Uh, Shit. All right. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Woo.